Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology and happy Father's Day. So, I hope that you had a wonderful Father's Day if you are a father or if you have a father to celebrate with. And if you do, that's a huge blessing. Don't take it for granted. On the lighter side of things, Father's Day gifts. I have wonderful, wonderful children, people that love me, and I was very, very blessed today. And I hope you were as well. But what happens if you get, say, a new piece of electronic sound equipment? Maybe it doesn't quite turn out as well as was hoped. You're not gonna wanna miss this. This is the Naxa, or Noxa NPB 428 portable MP3 slash CD player with cassette recorder, built-in USB input, aux input, a remote control, and apparently it'll make you do this when you listen to the music. I don't know what that is, but you can see the different features listed out there. Looks really, really cool. A nice compact design. I love it. Top loading CD player, USB input, cassette recorder. The back is much like the front, so let's go ahead and get into it. And this is fun, 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 fun. It looks awesome. I think it looks really, really cool. I'm excited to listen to it and all that good stuff. Okay, here it is. I hope if I centered it on camera there. Okay, the speakers are separate. I wasn't sure if the picture, sometimes they make it look like they separate and they don't, but it looks like these really are separate speakers, which is great. I'm gonna pull these out. Still warm, it's been sitting on the porch for a little bit. It's actually kind of hot. And we have looks like a power cord and a user manual and the remote. And that's it for the box. All right, let's go ahead and start with the speakers. I suppose that's as good a place to start as any. This looks really neat. And these speakers look like they just slide on to the side of the main unit. Very reminiscent of stereos from, you know, when I grew up. Okay, we got an eight watt speaker and a good length of speaker cable using an eighth inch mono plug. Very cool. And then it's even got a place where you can wrap it up if you uh, don't need it all at once. And the front of the speaker here, we've got the main cone here. I don't think that that's a real tweeter. I don't really know, but they look great. And hopefully they sound good as well. Okay, big reveal of the main unit. Ah, cool, awesome. It is really cool looking, I love it. So on the side here, you can see where, wow, you can see <laughs> right through there. That's really cool. This is where the speakers connect. And on the back here, that's where they plug in. Speaker left and right. AC power and then assumedly battery compartment. Wow, that's a cavernous battery compartment. You can just go to town there loading that thing up with batteries. It's already got a good heft and a good weight. Feels like it's good quality ABS construction. I like it. We got the uh, antenna on the back here for the radio. And then, yeah, let's look at the front. Just for the ease of filming, I've got it sort of laying on its back. So you've got the uh, main display right there, the power and standby switch right there, the remote sensor, you've got the USB connection, it's a cool like jog wheel for the volume, and another one for the function and band select over here. Oh, this is cool, so you can skip forward uh, like 10 if you're using the MP3 player, back 10 program mode and then transport controls here as well. And then a nice compact cassette player. Let's go ahead and open that up. Mechanism has a good slow open on it. Excellent, it's got a real stereo head. That's excellent, excellent, excellent. Really good to see that. I like how it says portable audio 
media station. It sounds really, really cool. Let's go ahead and peel off that. And there's our CD compartment. Very cool. And we'll pop that off. So it's got the same type of CD mechanism that a portable does where you snap it onto that hub. And it's really, really cool. I think that's great. It's very compact. And it should do the trick very nicely. I love the fact that it's got a window in there. And I think it looks sharp as heck. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it on and give it a listen. To attach the speaker, I'm guessing, I just sort of lift and drop here. Maybe I need to turn it a little bit higher up. Hmm. I'm trying to get the hang of this. Interesting that there's this tab here. I wonder if I should put it on like that. Couldn't quite figure out how to attach these yet, so I'm going to have to play around with that. But I've got everything connected, so let's go ahead and power it on. Ooh, nice, beautiful blue display. No disc, I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and start with a CD. Give it a good sound test. Using some broadcast music here, so we shouldn't have any issues with copyright or whatnot. Let's go ahead and hit play. And give it a listen. Nice. It's got a BBS bass boost button too. And it does make a good difference, it really, really does. It says 97 tracks on it. Wow, this is a surprising punch. Wow. I love it. This has a lot more punch than you would guess. Apparently I grabbed the Western CD. Let me skip forward a bunch. Nice. Really cool. By the way, here's the remote. I love how it's like this kind of chunky design. And I also love the fact that it takes AAA batteries instead of button cell batteries. Sorry, I'm looking through the lens. It's always hard to do basic functions when I'm looking through a camera lens. So yeah, let's go ahead and give it a test. Helps if you put the batteries in the right way. And we should be good to go. Yeah. Skip tracks. Stop. What else we got? You can switch between CD and USB input. You can program. That's really cool. Awesome. Really cool. Very functional. Good good design. I love the feel of it. Really, really cool. Okay, next let's go ahead and try out the tape player, tape recorder. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward because I've got a bunch of just junk on here from testing and whatnot. So let's go ahead and switch inputs now. We're going to switch an input to the tape mode, which is not the way to do it. Function. Function. USB, aux input, which is down there by the way, that's the aux. Tape, and that's what we want. Okay, give it a test. I'm gonna fast forward a little further. Why isn't it fast forward? Houston, we have a problem. Tape player is DOA. So if I put it on tape and I press play and, okay, do this again. If I open it up, press play, <laughs> capstan is loose. In fact, there's very little drag on it. And if I fast forward or rewind, the supply and take up hubs are stationary. It's just not moving tape. So that is a bummer. That's a deal killer. That is a deal killer right there. 
So what do we do now? Let's listen to the radio. <laughs> Why not, right? So let's listen to the tuner. It's not F-U, that's T-U, tuner. And that's cool. You can use the jog wheel to tune. So I'm trying to tune in 88.1. And I cannot get there. <laughs> that is so weird. Like, whoa, I was there for half a second. There we go. 88.1. Okay, there we go. There we go. Gonna extend the antenna. Oh, we're off again. That's why. Doesn't pick up stations very good either. I have to be touching the antenna. Interesting. Report: This will be far from the last. This station it gets really American jobs are Colorado. Colorado. To press this button to change bands. So we can go to the passive. So we can go to AM. For getting so many different groups on board. Uh, I think it was also important that lawmakers yeah. were, were willing to use stimulus money and a bit. But the tape player not working, that's a deal killer. Dang it, that's a bummer. It's so cool. I love the fact that it's small. I love all the features. The sound is good. Sorry, I'm reflecting in there again, by the way. Um, just a bummer. Just a bummer. And you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a numbers game. The next guy that got one was probably fine. There's always a percentage, a yield that aren't fine and unfortunately um, didn't work out for me this time. It's a bummer too, because there's a lot going for this little unit. Features, compact size, the styling is nice. I really like it. It's just a bummer that it didn't work out. So because of that, I'm not gonna recommend it. I'm not gonna put a link in the description below. I'm, like I said in the title, I bought this so you don't have to. <laughs> My wife actually suggested that title. And we'll just keep going. We'll see what we come up with next. Worst case scenario is an opportunity to check out something new and interesting. And for that, it was well worth the journey. Now looking through the manual, I see a lot of indications of a company that really cares about their product, which surprises me that we had these issues. They even show you like how to clean and maintain your cap stand, pinch roller, tape heads, all that kind of stuff. I mean, sometimes you, open up a piece of equipment and the manual's just bare bones, regulatory crap. But in this case, you really get the sense that they're showing you how to keep it, how to take care of it. It's just a bummer that it didn't work out that way. Interesting, DC bias, not a huge surprise. Power output, 2.5 watts times two. So they're not using the full capacity of those speakers. Because they're on the back, they say eight watts, interesting, but they still sounded good. You can, you know, make two and a half watts sound pretty dang good if it's tuned right and everything's impedance matched and all that good stuff. All right guys, and that's gonna do it. Again, I hope you had a wonderful day, at least a wonderful day off from work, and I hope you are going to have a wonderful week as well. But anyway, that's gonna do it for now guys. Happy record hunting and happy Father's Day. We will see you next time.